Well, where do I start? By the title of this video, you probably know what I'm going to be talking about, and it's fucking ridiculous. Let me give y'all a little backstory. So, today is Thursday of this video. Last Wednesday, <clears throat> I was on PlayStation Network, and I've been playing ARK uh, Survival with my buddies, people online, having a great time. I ain't doing anything wrong. I've never done anything wrong. I've never gotten in trouble with Sony when it comes to PlayStation Network. What the fuck is going on now? So I headed out of town on Wednesday. Wednesday was the last day that I played ARK. Uh, Thursday came around, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Get back home on sun Saturday. On Saturday, yeah, on Saturday log on during the day and this bitch as error appears right here this yeah i look on youtube how people were trying to fix it none of it works i don't care what anybody says i've tried everything uh contacted sony sony tells me that my ip has been banned i'm like sony what why what did i do wrong what the fuck did I do? Oh, we can't tell you that information. No, you can tell me the information. You just choose not to. So, they tell me, sir, we have sent it into your internet service provider on what you did. Well, I use ATT Uverse. Yeah, I know, it sucks. But, that's all I have around here. You know, you gotta go with what is available. So I can't complain. <sighs> Contact them Saturday night. It was pointless. Sunday was pointless to even try. Um, Monday morning comes around and I'm on the phone with Sony. And well, they, they tell me what they tell me. You know, you got to get a new IP. You know, uh, your IP has been banned. And I'm like, why? And they, give me the whole spill about not being able to tell me so I get off the phone with them and I call AT&T AT&T does their standard procedure puts you on the phone for at least 20 to 30 minutes listening to some crappy ass fucking music yeah I'm gonna say it then <laughs> then I get by this time I'm on my fourth person from Saturday till Monday and this fool comes on the phone and I'm like, you know how you get all those telemarketers that don't fucking, you can't understand a word they're saying? I get this guy, comes on, and he's like, thank you for calling. You know, it gives me the whole accent and I'm like not trying to sound like an ass right now. His name was Jimmy. You did not sound like a Jimmy. AT&T, I don't know where you hired this guy from, but anyways. <laughs> Mister, I can help you. I will try. I mean, stupid shit like that. You know, I couldn't understand it. Anyways, uh, he does the whole diagnostic or uh, diagnosis. So he looks at my router and through the internet and says that everything's fine. Tries other techniques to see if he can get me connected. <laughs> you know, and it all fails. I was like, sir, send me to someone I can speak to about getting a replacement IP, which is basically, they're going to have to send me new fucking equipment. <laughs> so uh, they send me to a different department, which is another guy that, yeah. Anyways, this last guy tells me, hey, we're going to send you another router. Fine. Do that for me. And this guy, I don't remember his name, but he had the same issue. Could hardly understand what he sounded. You could tell he was Indian. I ain't gonna lie. And he was like, "Oh, okay. Let me let me find out where you're from." He goes like, "Give me your uh, phone number and stuff." I, I'm not gonna do the accent. No, it's horrible. But what made me laugh is when I told him where I was from, and he goes, "Oh yeah, you're right next door to me." Yeah, right. Get the fuck out of here. I know you're nowhere near me. He made it sound like he was my fucking neighbor. No. 
You are not my neighbor. Oh yeah, I'm in Texas too. No, you're not. <laughs> okay, anyways. Getting off course. Uh, he sends me the router. It was Monday, which was a holiday. So I get an email. This is Monday morning when I'm on the phone with him. He gets off the phone with me. He tells me he's going to send me a new router. Monday afternoon, I get an email saying that my router or my equipment had been mailed out was going to be next day air fine that's perfectly fine thank you so i get my equipment on tuesday this is a bitch man i swear i can't stand it i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do but i'm calling them tomorrow anyways i get it on tuesday hook up all the equipment get it going and i'm back online on tuesday i play a little bit of art tuesday night jump off of art and i jump on grand theft auto and i'm playing with 8-bit eric and Billy and Jay of the Game Chasers and this and that and you know perfectly fine Wednesday comes around Wednesday night comes around I'm back on ARC and I call it early night I get off about 1 o'clock in the morning I'm always on ARC and ARC's been the game I've been wanting to play because it's fun because I'm a big dinosaur fan and I like dinosaurs so um, tonight I get home and it's 1 o'clock in the morning I log on and I get this stupid fucking error again. I'm really fucking pissed. And he don't understand. I'm being very, very nice right now. But Sony, you fucking suck. And I will see you in the morning. And I will make sure I give y'all the outcome of what I've been through this past fucking week. This fucking sucks. Fix your shit. Stop fucking banning me for nothing. I ain't done shit. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. It's fucking stupid. How are you going to fucking ban me? And the, the error code is WS37397-9. I think that's what it is. It'll be right here. So you can look it up yourself, people. Comment below what you think. Let me know. Has this ever happened to you? It, it's fucking stupid. Twice in a two day span. I got it back on on Tuesday and it's Thursday and I'm banned again. Fucking stupid. Sony, fix your shit. God damn it. Anyways, till next one, people. It's your boy. Peace.